Dear sisters, this year has been a time of enormous challenge, change, and opportunity. We've been challenged to reconfigure our lives as COVID-19 has become a global shared reality. We've changed the way we interact, the way we conduct business, and the way we recruit new members. And we have had the opportunity to listen and learn, to stand up bravely, speak up boldly, and demonstrate kindness in the wake of social and racial injustice. While such a challenge, change, and opportunity may be unprecedented in our lifetime, it is not the first time Tri-Delta members have been called to face an uncertain world with grace, hope, and resilience. In a time when a woman's place in higher education was still questioned, Sarah Ida Shaw set her sights on attending a prestigious all-women's institution, Wellesley College. Unfortunately, her mother fell ill the summer before she was to leave home, and she decided instead to attend Boston University and stay closer to home. After her first year, she again made plans to attend Wellesley, only to have those plans change this time due to her father's illness. Sarah knew what it was like to have unexpected illness change one's life plans. Nevertheless, Sarah thrived at Boston. When she was unable to find an existing sorority to call home, even after participating in recruitment, she was undeterred. In her senior year, she, along with Eleanor Dorcas Pond, committed to set heart and hand to creating a society that would be kind alike to all and to think more of a woman's inner character than her outward appearance or personal circumstance. On Thanksgiving Eve of 1888, Sarah and Eleanor pledged their eternal loyalty and fealty to Tri-Delta and initiated a sisterhood based on the values of truth, self-sacrifice, and friendship. It is these values that have allowed us to withstand challenge and change, no matter how great. These values and the women who embody them are why Tri-Delta has been able to face other previous global challenges. We endured another pandemic, the Spanish flu of 1918, along with the Great War and World War II. In the midst of turmoil, Tri-Delta members remain steadfast in their love for one another and in service to others. It is these values are the reasons that Tri-Delta remains strong today. Perhaps never before has the power of sisterhood been so important. We do not shy away from hard conversations or fear adapting to challenging times. Tri-Delta has moved quickly to adopt new technology and create new opportunities for members to connect with and support one another. Through our Let's Talk Tri-Delta podcast, which was launched in summer 2019, our networking app, Connect DDD, launched in fall 2019, our new online learning platform, Leader.org, launched in summer 2020, the Trident Online, launching in fall 2020, and the plethora of online experiences and events offered through our Summer of Sisterhood and Fall for Kindness. Tridelta is working to meet our sisters where they are and inspire a lifelong journey of friendship, personal development, and growth. It is also paramount that Tridelta ensure an equitable and inclusive lifetime membership opportunity for all our Tridelta sisters, especially our Black, Indigenous, and Sisters of Color. While Tridelta was the first national women's fraternity with a non-discrimination policy, we humbly acknowledge that our efforts around diversity, equity, inclusion, and access have not come far enough or fast enough. In 2020, we are intentionally focusing our energy, effort, and resources on identifying and dismantling systemic racism in Tridelta, promoting education, understanding, and healing and fighting for racial equality, equity, and justice. The body of work designed to accomplish this is reflected in our Lead Now Action Plan, available for review at tridelta.org. 
backslash lead now. It is critically important step in implementing the lead now plan, and that is the expansion and enrichment of our governing boards. We are very grateful to have sisters of color who have stepped up to lead. On the executive board, Emily Greer, Rhodes, Tysley Williams, Wake Forest. On the Tri-Delta Housing Board, Caroline Chin Goldwater, James Madison. On the Tri-Delta Foundation Board, Ashley Baskerville, Cal State Long Beach, and Diane Peterson, Ohio Wesleyan. The depth of talent, perspective, and experience they bring to Tri-Delta is transformational. You can read more about these incredible leaders on our website. We have also launched an organization-wide diversity audit, the results of which will be shared openly with our members in the spirit of sisterhood and transformational culture change. At the same time, we have been committed to supporting sisters through some of the most difficult circumstances they've ever faced. To date, in 2020, Tri-Delta's foundation has granted more than $260,000 to sisters in need through our Crescent Fund programs, including $208,000 in emergency funding related to COVID-19. The stories of our sisters that they have shared have been poignant and empowering. These common themes in their stories have been their love of Tri-Delta, the influence our sisters had, and their hope and resilience inspired by our timeless values. As we celebrate our 132nd Founders Day, as a society founded to be kind alike to all, I can truly say I have never been prouder to be a Tri-Delta. While no one could have predicted the challenges 2020 have delivered, one thing remains certain, Tri-Deltas everywhere remain committed to our founding purpose. In this, my first Founders Day's message as fraternity president, I charge all of you to remain loyal to our purpose while being open to new opportunities for personal and community growth. As our sister, Dr. Sarah Bergamy Dartmouth, said in her recent podcast interview, be aware, be patient, and be generous with yourself and with others. Sister Deltas, do not give up when your best made plans fall to the wayside. Instead, like Sarah Ida Shaw before you, ask yourself, not if, but how you will take the next step forward. And when someone asks you how you're making it through, you can say with perfect confidence, because I am a Tri-Delta. Here's to facing the year ahead, to renewing our commitment to truth, self-sacrifice, and friendship, to being brave, bold, and kind, and leveraging our collective influence and service of kindness to all. Happy Founders Day, Tri-Delta.